Hi, I'm Annette and welcome to my channel. Today I will be showing you swatches and a tutorial using the new Pat McGrath Mothership Subliminal Dark Star Mini Palette. This is from the Opulence Collection that she just released for a holiday. If you like these types of videos, please consider subscribing because I do them along with other beauty related videos here on my channel every Saturday. So Pat McGrath, she released a holiday collection. It's the Opulence Collection. Oh, and it's so beautiful. <laughs> and in the collection, there are lipsticks. I think some of the lipsticks are just repackaged in holiday um, packaging. I'm not sure if all of them are repackaged or if just some and others are new. But along with the lipsticks, she also released these beautiful mini palettes. There's three of them. And look at the packaging. I mean, just gorgeous. <laughs> So I did do a video already. I've done two videos where and I swatched these two palettes and then I did a tutorial with this one, the Bronze Temptation palette, and then a tutorial with this one, the Metamorphosis palette. And um, if you haven't seen those, I will link them in the description box below and then um, probably here too. And now this is the last one that I have to do a tutorial on and it is the Dark Star palette. And all three of these palettes are companion palettes for the larger Mothership palettes. And this one is the companion to the Subliminal. This is what it looks like, beautiful, gorgeous packaging. You open it and this is the palette as well. And then you have the six shades here. You have a nice size mirror. The palette does come with a, this little transparent insert that tells you the names of all the shadows. And these are the shades. You've got this beautiful, in all three of the palettes, you have like a gold shade and a bronze shade. And this one is no different. You have a beautiful bronze and then that like dark slate gray. And then that, that bronzy type gold. It's not a gold gold, but it's it lends towards gold. Then you have what looks like a matte black. I have not swatched this yet. And then a beautiful, nice plum and that gorgeous blue. It's like a blue with a purple base. When, when you shift the palette around, it looks like maybe there's a hint of purple in it too. Oh, this palette was the one that I was the most interested in when I saw these um, teased online. I saw the first pictures of them. And it's the last one that I'm doing a tutorial with because in my initial, I ordered the bundle, Pat McGrath, offers all three in a bundle for $125, which is a great price. And when mine arrived, this one, there was a shadow broken and it was everywhere. <laughs> shadow everywhere. So I couldn't swatch it and I couldn't use it. And I recently got a um, replacement and I'm so happy to finally get to play in it. So right now I'm going to go ahead and show you the swatches. Starting off with the first shade, this is Entice. This is Deep Space. Oop. It's that dark slate gray, which looks like it's got a hint of blue in it. Sorry about that messy swatch. And this is Enraptured. This is Dark Matter, which is a matte black. Look how smoothly <laughs> that swatched. This is Metropolis, a metallic plum. And this is Interstellar, which is this gorgeous metallic blue. And it looks like it's got a hint of purple in it as well. And just as in all of her other eyeshadow palettes, the shadows, particularly the metallic shadows, are very soft and creamy. And the mattes are smooth. Um, 
and you will get I don't know if you can see this but because the shadows are so soft you will get kick up in the pan especially on the metallic shades but her shadows are consistent across all of her eyeshadow palettes which I really appreciate you don't find one that's and eh, one that's really good like they're all good they're all beautiful <laughs> And I can't wait to buy. So, if you've been here before and you know that I do a lot of tutorials and I always start off with the eyes first. I believe every tutorial that I've done on my channel, I've done it that way. Today is a little different because I went out today. I was uh, on my second day of jury duty <laughs> and I get to, I got dismissed early before lunch. So I didn't get chosen for the case. Um, so I got to come home and I really wanted to get this video out to you guys. So I figured what the hey, let me just go ahead and try to hook up a little look here with my makeup already done. You will see I'm already wearing eyeliner and mascara, so I don't not quite sure how this is gonna go. <laughs> but we are about to find out. I'm not exactly sure what look I want to do with it either. I just know that I'm probably going to be using these these at least three shades right here that matte black that gray and this gorgeous blue i don't know yet if i'm going to incorporate this one or these two but we shall see i'm gonna figure it out and you can just ride along with me okay let's get into the tutorial my eyes are already prepped because um i already have all my makeup on so they've been prepped with foundation and face powder now i'm just going into dark space that dark gray shadow and i'm so nervous about doing my makeup my eyeshadow with my makeup already on but <laughs> here goes nothing i'm going to place this in the crease all the way in and I don't like this brush, so I'm going to change my brush because it's scratchy. This is a Delium Tools 776 brush. So I've determined I don't really like that brush. I'm going to take a Sonia Kashuk brush. Ooh, and I went in a little too much. <laughs> and I'm going to use that to blend this shade out into my crease. And this is a dark shade, as you can see. And I thought about maybe putting a little powder in my crease to try to get these to blend out a little better because my lids are oof, oof, <laughs> oily. But I don't know, they look pretty matte. So I thought I would just go on, on ahead and get in there. And I'm using back and forth and little circular motions here around the outer V because I want to get it in here too and then here in the crease so now I'm going to take this beautiful metallic plum shade here Metropolis and I'm going to put this in the crease now I, I didn't realize I wasn't filming, <laughs> so I'm sorry I already did this eye, so I'm going to be switching eyes. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> and I'm going to try and concentrate this eyeshadow closer in the crease, more so in the crease, and not as, take it as far up as I did that um that gray shade i'm going all the way across all the way to the inner corner here and i'm also taking it all the way out here to the outer v and i'm trying not to go in with too much eyeshadow at first but um it's really not a problem with um pat mcgrath's eyeshadows because they blend out so effortlessly so easily that even if you go in with a little too much on the brush like I tend to do um, you can still blend it out 
I have folds in my eyelids, so I don't have a smooth canvas on which to work. So I got to make sure that I get down in here into this crease and I haven't skipped over any skin because that happens a lot because of the folds. This is my problematic eye because my brow bone um, is more pronounced or I have more of a hood on this eye than I do this eye. So this one always, look at that, I don't even really need, I'm going back in with that Sonia Kashuk brush and that gray with no additional product and I don't even need to blend this side out because, you know, this is the A student over here. This eye is the problem, child that needs a little more attention because of this um, brow bone right here. So gotta blend this one out a little more. Now I'm going to spray my brush and I'm gonna get into interstellar. And I'm going to use my Mario Badescu spray. Normally I would use it dry so that you can see what it looks like, how it applies dry, but I know I'm gonna have fallout because it's Pat McGrath and she, yeah, you gonna have fallout. <laughs> and since my makeup is already done. Oh my goodness. Oh, gorgeous. I knew it would be gorgeous. Look at this. Oh. Gorgeous. I'm going back in with the plum, with that um, Metropolis, and I'm just going to blend around that, uh, blend in the crease. And I'm experiencing some fallout here. You can see that blue shade here. And I'm gonna go into that black, and I'm purposely using a small brush because I want to be really precise and controlled where I place this black because I really don't want to go too far up. I just kind of want to keep it in the crease and below the crease and here on the outer V. And now back in with Metropolis to blend out that black a little bit. And then I'm going to risk more fallout <laughs> by just with my using my finger dotting some more of that blue that blue purple shade onto the lid now i'm going to take my revlon um eyeliner pencil and now i'm going to take that black and go on the lower lash line And I'm going to go back in with a wet brush and interstellar and use this as my inner corner highlight. And these are the eyes completed. No false lashes today. And that is the completed look. I liked how it came out. <laughs> this um, interstellar, this blue shade here with the purple. Oh my God, absolutely gorgeous. I didn't use these two here, but um, just, just I, I like the gray. I like gray eyeshadows. I don't use them often, but I like them, and I don't feel like a lot of people make them. So a nice gray is nice, and the black, I think, was, you know, I have them in a lot of other Pat McGrath palettes, but it definitely makes sense in this palette. And you can do a really smoky, dark type of evening, sultry, cool-toned eye, or you can also use these shades right here and bring it more into the daytime, brighter and lighter if you like. So I feel like this palette is versatile. At this point now, I have used all three of these palettes and I like all three of them. It's, ev it's hard now for me to even pick a favorite <laughs> because they're all so, so beautiful. 
The mattes are, are creamy and they blend out beautifully. The metallics have a lot of shimmer and shine and they all blend in and work beautifully together. And I don't think you can go wrong if you decide you only want to get one of the palettes and not all three. Um, I don't think you can go wrong with either one. It's just a matter of preference. Do you like warm toned? Um, eyeshadows do you want an all shimmer shadow with with a, a palette that's full of lid shades and inner corner shades or you want a more cool tone sultry kind of deep dark palette I think there's something here for everyone in this eyeshadow palette collection so I am looking so forward to using these more in the future I have to say I have one more mini palette it's a La Vie in Rose palette and I found that I have used that more than all of my full size Pat McGrath palettes combined. I'm looking to change that going forward and so I think the six pan shadow palettes are really nice. They're small, they're more portable and maybe a little less overwhelming for folks because you only have six shades as opposed to ten and they don't have the special shades in them, what I call the special shades in them, the really glittery shades, but for some people that might be a plus um, because those shades are really glittery. They can be a little harder to work with and so, you know, people might be more inclined to want to use a metallic than something like that. I think it's a great, great collection and I'm so happy to have it. I guess that's my little mini review. <laughs> if you liked this video, please go ahead and hit the like button and consider subscribing because I do tutorials, first impressions, swatches, and hauls here on my channel every Saturday. Let me know if you would like to see any more looks with either one of these palettes and I will be happy to do so. I want to thank you for joining me today. I hope to see you again next week. Until then, bye-bye.